Well, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. We are just about ready for the action here. Kickoff is imminent. The teams indeed with us very soon, having exchanged their various pleasantries. What I have to tell you is that the weather may not be great for the duration of the evening. The clouds yet to open, but one suspects that they will pretty shortly. And when the rain comes, we are warned to expect plenty of it. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Well, Red, he's sorted that out. Berida lays it out to the flank. Vastasic. And here's Mitrovic, shapes to shoot! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Hoists it forward, Matija Nastasic cuts it out. Lajic. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both must have come in with a view of, of not making any early mistakes. So we're seeing some conservatism here. Kaderbeck tries to get it forward quickly. The Czech Republic still to register a shot on target. Tadic. Kostic. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Milivojevic. Savic. Tadic. And it's Kolarov. Milivojevic. Savic. Tadic. Either. And it's played forward. Matija Nastasic gets it away. Milivojevic. Tadic. Heading towards half time, and it is still scoreless. Kolarov. Savic. And we're not going to make any further progress now. That's been drilled forward. Tadic. Kostic. Kolarov. Time to deliver. All the balls come loose. Milivojevic. Tadic. Milivojevic. Kolarov. Milivojevic. Tadic, and here's Mitrovic, hits one! 
And the whistle goes for half time. So the other team has broken through. Not for the want of trying. Interesting game up to now. But still goalless. See your views on the first half. Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. The Czech Republic head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither, that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Well, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. And he's there to clear it. Serbia desperately needs someone to hold up the ball here. And it's Kolarov. Tadic. Kolarov. Savic. And that's sprayed out wide. That's a throw. Kolarov. Milivojevic. Tadic. Up towards the hour mark and still no goals. Just brushed off the ball there. A forward pass. Milivojevic. Kolarov. It is still anyone's game. Nil-nil. And it's Tadic. Schick. Gets into a dangerous position. Savic. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Forward it goes. Hadrubek. Garida. Kolarov. Milivojevic. Tadic. Tadic, Tadic. He's had a look. Has a pop. Back of the net. Finally, the deadlock is broken. It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't seem on. It's really crafty business, that. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Mitrovic, who got amongst the goals, is being taken off now. Yeah, he'll get a good ovation for his contribution. I'm not so sure why he's leaving us, though. There's no obvious sign of, of injury or fatigue.
Serbia take the lead, 1-0. Oh, this is fully deserved for me because they've shown great heart and spirit. It's there to win from here, or dare I say, throw it away now. Lovely feet. The Czech Republic cannot afford for this to peter out. There just isn't time left. Tries lifting it over. Pumps it into... Has a hit! Oh, that was extravagant by any standard. Schick certainly showed brilliant imagination there to take on such a high tower of skill. Another change here. Two minutes to be added on. Kolarov plays it forward. Cleared away. And there goes the final whistle. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. Your reflections then, Jim. The Czech Republic can be quite proud of themselves despite...